Today we will be doing If you talk to a non-engineer, you ask 10 non-engineers, you'll get 12 different answers. Exactly what horsepower means. But first history lesson. Why have a horsepower? Because it is literally trabajo ng isang kabayo. Historically, this is what horsepower means. The work one horse can do. And that work was determined arbitrarily by a guy named James Watt. He says, one kabayo Kaya ko ma ng 330 pounds ng 100 feet in one minute. This is one HP. Horsepower always has to have three things weight, distance, and time. Then we do a little segue. The next natang dito. Teka, kung yan yung horsepower, ano yung torque? This is very confusing. You ask the same 10 people, they'll give you 12 different answers, or most likely the answers will be, I don't know. So horsepower needs three things. You need weight, distance, and time. Torque basically is a twisting force. You have these two, wala to. So the easiest way to demonstrate it is this. Hey, go on, hey. Bubuksan ko to. Pag pinihit ko ng ganyan, I'm applying torque. Pag hindi ko nabuksan yan, wala power. Pag matigas to, kahit anong piga mo, you're up, palang patas na patas yung torque. But there's no power because hindi gumagalaw eh. There's no distance, there's no time. Pag once na gumalaw yan, oh, minsan mabagal, tapos gano'n mo kabilis na mabuksan, that's power. So torque is twisting force applied over distance and there has to be time. So may torque ka nga, mabagal yung bukas, mahina yung power. So may torque ka, mabilis yung bukas, malakas yung power. I think that pretty much should explain it. But let's go back to power. You will hear things like HP, B, HP, or just plain HP. All of this actually, magakapantay. They're all one wheel horsepower, is one brake horsepower, is one horsepower. It's the same horsepower. It's not one wheel horsepower, it goes to 0.7. Brake horsepower should go to 0.5 horsepower. No, it's all the same power. The main difference is the first letter here, the terms which describes how and where you measure that power. Okay, let's start with your pinaka basic HP. Pag bumili ka ng koche, let's say by a Civic 1.8, you scroll down to the engine specs, you will see their horsepower or just power. May number dyan, 140. Sometimes there is a BHP. Sometimes there is PS. Or sometimes it's just HP. Yeah, when you buy for sure, that's what you're buying. 
That's the most basic HP. That is the amount of power that the engine makes outside of the car. Now, the way this thing is tested in a laboratory, you have here a brake. This is a call an engine dyno. Now, notice that I have a brake here. That is the B in BHP. Brake or power. Brake as in preno? Yes, brake as in preno. In the engine dyno room, this thing rotates. So, okay, so let's say it's spinning. Uh, 6,000 RPM, which is the red light. There is a brake here that applies a force to stop this at 6,000 RPM. Hindi niya papalampasin ng 6,000, hindi niya papalampasin ng 6,050. Think of it as a, you know, let's say you're Superman. May kamay ka dyan. Tutulak mo yan para pumareno dito. So the amount of force that you apply is equal to how much power this engine is making at 6,000 RPM. This is brake horsepower because you physically, literally use a brake to measure how much power it makes. Brake horsepower and HP are one and the same thing. It just depends on how it's measured. By saying that, that means there's another way of measuring it. Which we now come to... Which is what shops like us normally throw around. This is wheel horsepower. Measured with a dyno. Now, wheel horsepower means it's measured at the wheels, not at the crankshaft. So, yeah, it's a the For manufacturers who measure horsepower, they measure it at this point, at the crankshaft. A dyno measures it here at the wheels. So, what's kinapita mo ng transmission yan? A drive shaft, a drive axle, everything. All of these things have weight that needs power to turn and keep turning. So by the time, say this 140 horsepower gets to the wheel, bawas na yan. This is why almost all dyno readings are always lower than whatever you buy in the brochure. Laging comment ng mga customer dito, sino nga lang yung manufacturer? No, they're not. The point of measurement is different. It's here and it's here. 
Now, there are two types of dynos in the world. One is the roller dyno, which everybody seems to be more familiar with. There's the wheel here, that's the car. Even back to high school, fourth year, kayo, you will encounter this one. Force equals mass times acceleration. Itong wheel na to, drum to na malaki. May bigat yan. There's, a, there's mass. Pag binira mo yung kotse, iikot yan, iikot din to. You have acceleration. Then you have force. Which is how much power it makes. How fast you accelerate it over a given time gives you power. So far, the second one that we have is using hydraulic. Think of it as a pump. That's a really crappy pump room. <laughs> Mga um, baro na mga heavy equipment familiar dito, hydraulic pump. Yes, hindi ganyan itsura niyan, pero for the sake of, for the sake of illustration, that's it. Hydraulic fluid goes in here, normally oil. Iikot yan. It generates pressure. What is pressure? Power. How fast you ikot it, over time, gives you power. This is a very, very simplified explanation, but these are the two ways that power is measured on the wheels. Both are also equal to one horsepower, <laughs> regardless of which method you use it. It's one horsepower, the same horsepower. That's where we get the term wheel horsepower, because the measurement point is at the wheels. The car. May pilosopo mong tatanong eh. Yung dino nyo, yung walang wheels eh. Paano yung wheel horsepower pa rin yun? <laughs> okay, you want to be strict about it. We measure our power at the wheel hub. Still part of the wheel, isn't it? Yung wheel hub, kung saan siya nakatornilyo. We still have wheel. And the biggest difference between how we measure and how, how Dynapack, which is our dyno, and a dyno jet measures is we eliminate one variable, which is the wheel itself. Let's go back to our force times mass acceleration. Mags. Yung mags may mass. May bigat yan eh. Yung mags. 15, 15 inch wheel. 15 kilos. Seventeen inch wheel. And tire ah. 20 kilos. Keeping everything constant, this one will generate more force than this one. It takes more effort to spin this than that. Thereby, the power that actually gets to the ground is lower. Ano niya, pag nagpalit kayo ng mags, very simple. Na mas malaki, ramdam nyo. Bumibigat yung pakiramdam ng kotse. The steering feels a little bit heavier, you accelerate a little bit slower. It's because your engine has to push out, has to push more weight given the same output. 
So on a dyno jet, you change your wheels and tires from run to run, different reading. Let's say you mm, buy a car, you come in, stock 15 inch, let's say you get dyno car, you get 100 horsepower. Later on, you decide to buy a set of wheels, and then you dyno again. You probably might get only 95 horsepower. With the dyna pack, since walang wheel, walang pakailam what size your wheels are. It can be 33, 38, big tires, small tires, doesn't matter. So that's the main advantage that we see with dyna pack. And there is no wheel slippage. Just simply go to YouTube and type dyno fails. <laughs> Almost all here are on roller dinos. I have yet, I think, to see a dino fail on Dynapack. Na yung kotse na kawalan sa Dynapack. I don't think there is one. Engines exploding on the dino. Yes, there's a lot of them. But cars jumping out of the dino, that only happens on the roller dinos. Recap, wheel horsepower is measured with a dyno. Brake horsepower is how it's measured. Horsepower is They're all equal. One is not greater than the other. It's still the same horsepower. It just depends on where it's measured, the how, one of two ways, but still results in the same kamayo.